And then I also had the artist statement because I know it was listed in the description. It doesn't sound like anybody here was for artist statements either, but artist statements are tricky because I don't know if you've ever gone to an art exhibit and read an artist statement. Some of them can be very technical in the terms that they use. And um, frankly, I feel alienating. You know, they don't really relate to an audience necessarily that isn't very specific to the crowd they want to uh, relate to. So I find that as a negative. Some people find that as a positive, but that they, they're just going for one group. And if you wanted to write an artist statement, I end up writing a bunch of artist statements. I also do mixed media canvas work. I actually have a couple art shows coming up in Brooklyn this week that I've been preparing for. It's been a very busy week. <laughs> but, yeah, the idea... So what did you say the artist statement was? The artist statement is you present a piece in a show and you want to have a, you know, a paragraph to a page description oh, okay. Okay. of what the piece is going to be about. Uh, and there are three ways, in my opinion, to go about this. There's something that's it's supplemental and it um, enriches what's already existing. So somebody reads it and they go, oh, I can notice um, this, this curve and this whatever, what, ha what have you. Um, just commenting on the piece. It can be conceptual where it um, tries to imitate the mood of the piece, so it isn't necessarily talking about the piece, but by reading it you might get a sense for how you're supposed to interact with the piece. Isn't it best for the actual artist to write the statement? Yes. Because I always have to laugh when you go to a museum and you're looking at, you know, I mean a collaboration of artwork mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess the museum director writes the, the artist uh, statement or description mm -hmm. and you often think how do we know that that's what the artist meant? That's, How do we know? That's something that I've struggled with before as well because it they have the tremendous they have, of yes the, writer. the 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 curators have tremendous power in framing the interpretation for a given artist and sometimes they will be very heavy-handed about how they do it and other times they will just provide the tools and enable the viewer to interpret. Uh, but a lot of you know you you see that as a complaint. A lot of people they want to be told how and to I'm interpret. I'm not saying it's a complaint, but I just kind of think it's, it's interesting. ironic uh -huh. at times. And I remember saying to my husband recently, we were at an art gallery on the East End. I don't see this artist statement. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't relate to what I see in the in the picture, in the artwork. How do we know that that's what the artist? Right. Is? Right. I think it's. I find artist statements are very important just for that reason because. People are looking for a way to interpret a work, mm -hmm. and that's the fun of it. If you can get a, a really great piece of art, in my opinion, is one that there's there's a story that you can start talking with your friends about it. Both without having a statement. about no, not about having a statement about different different parts, how it's composed, what makes you feel good about it, things like that. If you can if you can get in a conversation about that, that's ideal with art, and the artist statement facilitates that ideally. Right. Right. So, the the third way that I think that you can frame an artist artist statement is in the process. For instance, I had a, a piece where I um, I poured glue over a canvas and and let it go till it was semi hard. It was a six by four foot canvas, and then um, once it was kind of tacky, I was able to pull it back from the middle, and it was it was able to solidify that way. So it made this very it created tension because it it looked like a piece of canvas actually being stretched back but really it was just glue and the idea there with describing the process is people are interested in how that worked and mm -hmm. and then they can take that idea and apply it to the concept of the um, of the piece so there's a few different ways to go about that I won't dwell upon it much longer since nobody's doing that but I know there's a uh, there's a gallery here and Susan was thinking that perhaps some of the artists were going to come here to talk about their artist statements. So.